New Tech High School is a project-based learning school where you work in groups and learn skills to collaborate. They take a normal curriculum as outlined by the state and instead of giving you maybe problems or assignments, they'll put it all into a big final product. Teachers will present a problem or a scope of a project to them and they will determine what it is that they need to learn in order to be successful. They're essentially like, this is what we need from you. Here are some resources. Use anything else that you can find and give us the end product and here's what you're going to be graded on. It's a whole cohesive project. The students work together in groups and collaborate to achieve their shared goals of uh, their learning outcomes. We're focusing not so much on reading textbooks and taking tests, but you know, having our kids understand the material by doing stuff rather than me lecturing and talking about it. The students will then get up in their group and they'll talk about you know, what they've learned in the process, what they've grown in, uh, places where they've struggled. Uh, and you know, showing us their understanding rather than you know, checking off a box that says the answer is B. It's about every four or five weeks that they'll have a presentation in their class. It forced me not only to learn the content but also understand it well enough to be able to explain it to others and then answer questions on it. And they present their work usually to a real world audience of community partners, their peers and teachers to demonstrate their learning. We partner with community partners who help solidify how applicable it is to the real world. One of my favorite projects was in algebra. It was the Juice Dot project. We were learning uh, about fractions. We got to make our own smoothie and then present it to the manager at Juice Stop. These kids are getting these 21st century skills and they're applying them and practicing them every single day. Public speaking, eye contact, what really having that face-to-face -face communication is all about. They learn a lot of different digital apps that they can use to really make their presentations shine. Students are using the industry standard software. They're using the tools that they would use in an office space. They have more experience with the software program that I did coming out of college. Here at New Tech, you kind of have like fun with your learning. You have a unique experience with it so that when I'm graded on it, when I'm tested on it, I can go back and I can remember and I can recall those things a lot easier than if I'm copying it down in a textbook and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember the textbook said this. Our last project that we did was we made a game and we had to be like the teachers I guess so to speak and teach some words in Spanish to the class but make it fun in a game. It's gearing them towards what it looks like for you know what comes after high school uh, you know what it looks like for the workforce where right, I'm constantly having to work with other people I'm constantly required to you know present what I understand or what I know or how I would accomplish a task the ability to become task oriented and, and figure out for yourselves what needs to get done rather than being told complete you know A, B, C, and D. As the kids get older and they move out into the workforce, a lot of what we're seeing with the new tech high students is they're much better prepared. You can teach technical type skills, but these soft skills that these students are being exposed to and having to practice really set them apart. We have a class we take, it's called either leadership or career and college readiness, where they kind of go over scholarship applications and applying to schools. Our closeness and our relationship to CTE opens up possibilities for our students. Being on STI's campus opens up the possibilities. Through New Tech you can get college credits through STI. It's a great way to get them exposed quickly into the college life. I attended New Technology High School from 2010 to 2014. For me to see her come out of her shell so quickly in that type of environment was astounding to me. She was given the opportunity to take some college credit over through STI. 14 credits, if I remember right, um, and that helps me get a kickstart in um, app at STSU as well. I am in choir and concert choir. We have a choir, we have gym. We have students who compete for Roosevelt and for Washington and Lincoln and they have the same opportunities to be able to do all of those extracurriculars. So if you want to play football, You'll have plenty of time, you'll get to all the practices, you'll be able to make it to all your events. So we're, we're very accommodating with the normal schedules at the other schools. We're all kind of blended together. We all like to say we're one big family. It definitely helped with my confidence in ways that I don't think a normal high school could have. And it's very much a community, a family feel uh, when you walk these halls.